Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, I'm finally back on schedule again. Um, I don't know how long this is going to last, because I literally just woke up randomly all of a sudden in the morning and decided to go out, go jog, and then come back and start recording. Um, so, I have I have quite a few things I want to do today. Um, just basically finishing off whatever I didn't finish yesterday. I spent a lot of time yesterday farming the water dungeons trying to get enough um, water stones yeah I have enough, exactly enough water stones I have enough high star stones as well to make three more six stars three more water six stars so I think in the next few days I basically just want to um, you know while leveling these monsters just keep leveling them and then spend a little bit of time farming like golden speed 9 for some triangle slots I don't know how many more triangle slots I actually need but I, it feels like I need quite a lot because I <laughs> Um, when I did the fusion for the Yuki, she gave me it gave me like three triangle slots for her. So, um, and the this water siren also has two triangle slots. I'm not sure how many more triangle slots I need. I need, I need at least one more for her, and I need um, you know after I do the Hana fusion, I'm not sure how many triangles like if, how the rune gem slots are gonna change. Um, I think I'm a little bit tilted. Like it's a little bit unfortunate that I got three triangles instead of like what it was before. What it was before was actually perfect. It was triangle, square, and then one diamond. Just you know the the standard um, gem slots instead of some something weird like this. But this is still usable. This is definitely still usable because you don't really need to build the water Yuki with anything besides just tankiness. Um, she is a sapper, she basically just saps, so you don't need to really build any damage or anything on her, you just basically want to get her as tanky as possible so she survives and just keeps keeps putting on them saps, alright? Kind of the same thing with the with the Hana and with the um, with the other units, but I think the Hana, like, it would be a very very good idea if I could get at least one diamond slot because she is a healer, so if I really needed to, I could put one resist on her to make sure she doesn't get, like, you know, silence or stun at, at weird times. Um, basically, I want to have both my healers with at least one sl one slot resist, or at least put them on a conviction set with, like, high resist substats, because they're active healers, and I'm running them for, I'm planning to run them for golems B10, so the the way I want to do it is to have really high resist because the B10 golems does have one silence. So I want to make sure that um, they can basically at least one of them always has their heal up at some time to make sure um, you know the golem doesn't do anything weird and silence them and everybody dies. You know some some stupid shit like that. So. The next little thing I want to do is actually finish my, you know, Evil 2 on my Vic Victoria. I'm very, very close. I have um, basically three Kokomons and I have two mermaids ready. So I basically just need to get one more mermaid ready. So I need to farm three more merma mermaids in order to... I call them mermaids, they're actually sirens. Um, I just need to get three more ready in order to do this fusion. So actually this is, this is going to cost a ton of gold. I'm not sure if I want to do this right now. Actually no, gold's pretty easy to get. I just need to spend like one night in golems and I can do this. So yeah, let's 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 just do two right now, I think. And then I I need to get one more ready, and then I'll be able to get three. You know what would be awesome if I get like a variant in the fusion? I think it's possible. Someone posted on Reddit that it's possible to get a variant off fusion. I think if I fuse like 15 Victorias, at least at least one of them is going to be a variant, right? Okay, I think I'm being hopeful here, but um, RNG can't be that bad, right? No, RNG can definitely be that bad. That was actually my first Water Victoria. I never actually got a wa Water Victoria. Um, probably going to fuse a few more. Definitely need to fuse a few more in order to make this work. So, yeah, I think, I think that's pretty much it. The... Next little thing, um, you know, I'm farming the snowies in order to get ready for the, for for the fusion for my for my Hana, and yeah, not not really working on anything else. I think that's pretty much much it in terms of, in terms of my progression. Basically, basically, getting closer and closer. I'm very very close now. I think I'm. Um, you know, after I, I'm, I'm about like 30% done. All right, I'm about 30% done in my, in my goal to make the full sapper team. And I think all I really need to do now is finish the, 
finish the fusion for the Hana, um, and then six star two, three more monsters. So that's definitely quite a lot of work as well. But I do have the fusion for one of them ready. Like I already fused my Yuki, got her to evil three, um, and I, I do have my Siren at six stars already. So basically, I just need to get two more six stars, and um, do the fusion, and then get her to six star as well. So yeah, that's still a lot of a lot of work to do, but. You know, I'm basically not working on anything else for the next two weeks or so. I think for in terms of just video making, I'm gonna make more like you know review videos and stuff, just stuff I can do on the side while I'm farming, because I'm basically just farming nonstop for forever. Um, I think the end of the week is nearing, so I'm definitely gonna start doing some PvP videos again soon. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.